and let's record there. Ooh. All right, let's see. I have paints, I have water, I have brushes, I have the book. Good Lord, I have a household full of kids. I've got the, uh, you know what, boy too is across the street playing with the kids. Girl too, who knows, I think she's upstairs doing teenage angst things with her phone. Uh, girl one is actually here in there. Uh, Unique with Chantiel LaFontaine is running around the house mad at me because I wouldn't let her play with the uh, uh, power tools. Uh, the wife is somewhere in the house somewhere. You know, I'm really just missing like my mom and my dad, my granny, my oldest boy and his and his fiance. My whole family would be here. Yeah, I wonder what it takes to get make that happen. Okay, let's see. Hey, Nomadic Rose. <clears throat> let's see. Uh, I'm here, you're here, and that's probably the most important thing going on right now. So take your headphones off. Somebody has opened my door. It's girl too. Hello. Say hi to the peoples. Hello, people. They can't see you. It's that camera. Hello. That camera. Okay, take your headphones off. Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of the Artistic Micro Live from Houston, America. That's right, America. Mm. Whew. I thought that after all the Cinco de Mayo and Revenge of the Fifth and Revenge of the Sixth and all the craziness that's happened last week, I thought that we might do a little bit about um, Mother's Day. So, <clears throat> let me... Ooh, hey, finally chat wasn't working. So glad I saw you coming on. Nomadic Rose is in the chat room. She's the only one that's chatting right now. We have an anonymous viewer. Uh, sometimes the chat doesn't work very well, so I can't really tell who's here and who's not here. So I'm just going to have a show, and if, I can, if you can make it into the chat room, that's just awesome. <clears throat> so let's see. I don't know what they're talking about. Okay, so last week, bum, 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 we did a... Yes, son? You're not going to eat out here. Okay. Hey, hey, do you see all the paints? Yes. The paints have things in them that I don't want you to ingest. Okay. Okay? So go eat, and then you can come back and visit. Do you want to say hi to the people before you go? Hello, peeps. They can't see you. Hello, peeps. Got the camera. Okay, go eat. So... Last week, we had I had read uh, the BFG by Roald Dahl uh, up at the little girl's behest, Girl Two's behest. It's it's her favorite book. At, currently, it's her favorite book of all time, uh, um, which is funny because mine was uh, Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. But anyway, there was a line in there that I I decided to journal about. And it, um, if you're not familiar, the BFG his day job is collecting. Uh, wild dreams and then delivering them to children at night <clears throat> and when and one of the little children asked him uh, how he caught the dreams and he says I listens for them and then I reaches for them and I thought you know that's that's pretty profound how do you catch dreams I listens for them and then I reaches for them and so I thought I'd journal about it last week this week however it is the week before it's the Monday before Mother's Day weekend. And I thought that I would paint a little bit of something for my mother. Uh, <clears throat> so, with that, especially since I'm not going to be able to see her on Mother's Day, let me, uh, with that, let's just turn the page and get started. Whee! Oh, goodness. I'm tired of this book. I am so ready for a new book. I don't know what I have to do to get to a new book, but I am so ready for a new book. This book is this book has been good to me, but it seems like it has taken forever forever to get through this book. 
And I am so ready for a new one. I have so many ideas and plans that require me moving to a new book. I don't have my spray bottle. Where's my spray bottle? I can't do this without a spray bottle. Hang on a second. I think my spray bottle is in my car. <coughs> so I'm just going to step out here to the car real quick. drawing last week. Hang on, this will be loud again. <coughs> Goodness gracious. So I went to figure drawing last week and <coughs> the when I go to figure drawing I like to watercolor on one of the 20 minute poses and my little spray bottle was missing so I took my big spray bottle and that was awkward to carry but even more awkward, awkward when you don't bring it back in. So anyway, let's get this page prepped real quick here. So Thursday of last week was Star Wars Day May the fourth, May the fourth be with you. I can't believe we didn't do a page about that last week. And then Friday, everybody was saying Friday was May the fifth was the Revenge of the Fifth, and I don't think that's accurate. I think Friday, I think Friday was Cinco de Mayo, and I think we ought to leave Friday as Cinco de Mayo because that's the day that they import all the. They export all the cheap beer from Mexico into the U.S. Um, and all of the Americans look for a reason to get drunk. Look for another foreign holiday like, it's like Mexican St. Patrick's Day or something. I mean, historically it's the day that they were totally outnumbered and threw off the French. But realistically... No American knows that. No, no, no United States citizen knows that. They think it's they think it's Mexican Independence. They think it's Mexican St. Patrick's Day. Uh, realistically, no American knows that that's the day that they threw off the the, the, the French that they were that they were severely outmanned, outgunned, and still managed to still managed to kick the French out because you know they're French. You know, somebody stood up and waved a stick at him, and the French waved a white flag because that's what they do. <clears throat> anyway, nobody knows that. So anyway, Friday Friday was Cinco de Mayo. Hang on. Oh, check this out. Check this out. You're gonna. I don't even know how to show you this. How do I show you this? Can I show you this with this camera? Check this out. Look, we were talking last week about building a drying box. Look here. I've got a heat lamp and I've got a fan. <laughs> I don't know how well it's going to work. <laughs> I don't know if it. I don't know if it'd be any faster than just using the. I mean, I mean, I know it's not going to be as fast as using the uh, the hair dryer. But <laughs> I, I think it's fun to do <laughs> to do stuff like that. So anyway, um, Cinco de Mayo was Friday, and then <clears throat> Saturday was the sixth. So is Saturday is is Friday Revenge of the Fifth is is Sun is uh, is uh, Saturday is Saturday Revenge of the Fifth because Revenge of the Fifth should come after the Fifth or is it Revenge of the Sixth which sound, actually sounds more like Sith from from Star Wars Let me know in the in the comments below if you think it should be Revenge of the Fifth or Revenge of the Sixth. And if Revenge of the Fifth is on the Fifth, or if Revenge of the Fifth comes after the Fifth, because, you know, you've got the hangover from Cinco de Mayo, and then, you know, and obviously, you know, <clears throat> May the 4th was Star Wars Day, so live long and prosper. Uh, anyway, let me dry this real quick. <laughs> Look how bright that spot is on there. Look how fast it dries.
Nomadic Rose is in the chat room. I haven't seen you in around in a while, hon. Reach out in the hall, grab somebody by the hair, and make them log in. I doubt we get a teacher update this week. Okay. I doubt we get a teacher update this week. So it's probably just going to be us. And that's okay. But I can tell you that for Cinco de Mayo, my beautiful young bride has uh, teacher friends at her current school, and she has teacher friends at her previous school, and they came over to the house. For Cinco de Mayo. I'm just sprinkling water on the paper, by the way. Just little droplets of water all over the place. They came over to the house for Cinco de Mayo. So that was fun. <clears throat> we all got maybe a little toasty. Everybody put your masks on. Whoa, whoa. Mask and spray, spray tent, especially gold spray tent. It's especially important with the gold spray tent to wear a mask because the metals in the gold spray tent will get on your lungs and cause problems. Okay, I need that to dry for a minute. So the, uh, the teacher friends from the old school came down and met the teacher friends from the new school. This is kind of creepy looking. I kind of like this. We need to, I either need to figure out a different lighting system while the dryer is moving, or I need to find a different place to put the dryer box or something. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. It'll come, in, it'll come in handy during the Halloween season, though, won't it? <laughs> uh, come on, Patrick, you can figure it out. I have faith in you. So, okay, I'm sorry. Pneumatic Rose is saying that her son Patrick's trying to get on. <clears throat> okay, so anyway. Uh, so we had a house full of beautiful, beautiful women. Uh, and everybody was like, I'm sorry to take over your house like this. And I'm thinking, you know, I have a you know, half dozen beautiful women in my house. I, why would I be why would I be complaining about that? You know, I'm red blooded American male. And and then they stayed, the the local teachers went home. The <laughs> Nomadic Rose says her mask is in the other room. So hey, just pull your shirt up like I do. The uh, the uh, foreigners, the the uh, Redbacks from Oklahoma, they they stayed Friday night and Saturday night. And late Saturday night, girl one showed up. My eldest daughter showed up with Unique Chantiel La Fontaine, my grandbaby. And they're going to be staying with us for a few weeks. So life is good here. I mean, I'm having a I'm having a blast with them. And like I said earlier, if my eldest boy and his fiance were to move down here, and my mom and my dad and my granny were to move down here, that'd be my entire lineage. That'd be that'd be everybody alive in my ancestry. Ah. No, good lord, that dried quickly. Look at that. Look at how quickly that dried. I love this thing. That, I should have done that. I should have done that ages ago. Should have done that ages ago. Okay, I'm gonna do the water droplet thing again. Just gonna spread a few water droplets around. And then I'm going to take some safety green. Again, I'm just gonna ooh, tip my keyboard up. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kind of haze this a little bit. Everybody, put your masks back on. You want to make sure that you wear the mask when you spray the spray paint because you don't want to breathe it. You really dead to it. You really dead. You really bad. I mean, really, I mean, really bad. So you'll notice that I have. Uh, garage door open over there so that I have some ventilation. I'm still sitting kind of close to it. 
but the, uh, I do have a little bit of ventilation. Let me see if I can show you. Let's give this just a minute and let me see if I can show you a close-up of what the water, why we're putting water droplets down on the paper. I think what I'll do is I'll take a picture of it with my camera so that you can see what happens. Dun dun dun. Open up. Come on. Stop your auto rotation stuff. Okay. What happens is the wrong camera. The paint beats up around the water. And then when the water dries, there's a void. There might be a little bit of film. Hey, Miss Allie. There might be a little bit of film on the water, but really, by the time the water dries, the film floats to the side, and you end up with these voids where the water was. And if you do it in layers like we just did, like if I did it again, when this dries, if I did it again with, say, red or blue, I mean, you could just, you could just keep going, and you'd have layer after layer after layer of, of droplets. And you just missed it. You just... You just missed the paint over the water droplets. And yeah, it takes a little bit of time for the water droplets to dry. But, I mean, seriously, the effect is so worth it. The other thing that you can do is you can spray the paint on thick and let it actually form a skin over the water. And then the water will, will evaporate out from underneath the paint and it'll form, uh, it'll form some cracks and some real, some, some real pretty designs. The downside to that, if you do it, the downside to that is there's no binder. There's absolutely no binder. So what you'll have to come back on top of that with some uh, a clear coat, an adhesive, uh, 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 I'm sorry, uh, uh, aerosol clear coat. And it'll have to be aerosol because you can't brush it. If you brush it, you'll flake it off. So you have to come up real high and you'll just have to, you'll just have to lightly mist your aerosol across there. And, and then when you get enough on there that it can stay on there, then you can come back with uh, you can come back with a, a solid brush of clear coat on top of that and at this stage you'd want to use something matte because if you used uh, satin or uh, satin or gloss then the next stages wouldn't stick to it so it, it's important that you make sure that you you use something that uh, that that the next layers of paint or glue will stick to because nothing likes to stick to a shiny surface. If you do use gloss, you may have to come back with some 200 grit or better sandpaper and just lightly buff it where you want to paint or glue. You, you may have to. So, uh, that is... Miss Sally, you missed this while ago. Look at this. Look at... Let me see which camera I can use. Look at my look at my hot box where I've got a heat lamp and a fan blowing across here. While we're talking, it's already drying the spots on the page so that I don't have to run the hair dryer. I can explain what I'm doing, and I don't have to run the hair dryer while I do it. <laughs> we may still have to run the hair dryer, but we don't have to run the hair dryer for as long. We are going to run it just a little bit, though. Hey, R92 in SF Server 3. I'm sure that name is important to you. Let us know what it means. Until then, I'm just going to call you R92N. We look down into a brown eye and said, say a prayer for me. She threw her arms around me and wished for God to keep us free. And look at here, the rat's coming. He said, this is my last fight. If they take me back to Texas, they won't take me back alive. There were seven Spanish angels at the altar of the sun. Hey, Stampy! 
They were praying for the lovers on the valley of the gun. When the battle stopped and the smoke cleared, there was thunder from the throne. The seven Spanish angels took another angel home. Stimpy, can I still call you R942? R92N? Oh, hi, Patrick. There was some Spanish angel at the altar of the sun. And they were praying for the lover in the valley of the gun. When the battle stopped and the smoke cleared, they were stunned from the throne. And seven Spanish angels took another angel home. Ooh, that's going to be just exactly what I was talking about. That, that did exactly what I was talking about. Here, look, let me show you again. Oops. That is exactly what I was talking about. Look at this. See how the, see the texture where the paint formed a skin over the water and then the water dried out from underneath the, the paint and it left that texture. Now you have to begin, you have, again, you have to be careful because that won't have any binder in it whatsoever. That'll flake off and blow away. So what I have is I have some matte finish here. I'm going to turn the heat source off while I do the matte finish. I don't want I don't want it to catch fire unless I want it to catch fire. And I'm just going to mist it right over that. Because I don't, I don't want to lose that. Where that happened. I need some more of this. I have gloss and I have satin. Oh, here, I think I have. Nope, that's low order, low odor, clear finish, low odor, and it says gloss. So that's useless. Oh, here we go. I do. I have another, I have another jar of matte finish. So if this one, if, we, if this one fails me, I have another jar. So okay, <clears throat> let's take, let's take a moment here, and let's put some. White paint, gold paint, maybe a little flat black. I do love the show. I love the show Ren and Stimpy too, Patrick. Patrick's in the chat room saying he chose the name Stimpy because he loves the show Ren and Stimpy. <clears throat> I, I used to love the show Ren and Stimpy too. I loved it a lot the first time around. I think they should have gone back to that format. But let's hit this with some black. That's not mixed up at all. Oh, I should have shaken up all my paints before I started. I got this bubble maker. I made this bubble maker out of a cut up peanut butter jar. So, let's take and put some black around there. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit of gold. Just a little bit. And then some white. Really? Now? You're not going to work now? You're too late. I can't move the thing again.
and it makes this little bubble there. So let's do a couple more of those just because we can. Especially since we have everything already mixed up. That's the clear finish. Where's the gold? That's why you don't see any gold. Somebody used clear finish instead of gold. All right, this one's empty. Find another white paint. Quick, 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 quick. Find another white paint. That's gloss black. That won't serve the purpose. There's got to be another white paint here somewhere. Oh, if only. If only we knew where there was more white paint. There's gray. What is this? It's clear. Oh, no. What is this? That's black. Why do I have so much black paint? You'd think, you'd think I had some kind of affinity towards black paint. There we go. There we go. This will work. See if I can line that back up. I bet I'll never get that lined back up. But. Yee! Doggies. Okay, let's put another one over here and then we're going to call that done. Black. Gold. White. Bubbles. Okay, and then let's take some tape. Where's my tape? Oh, I had my tape set out just for this process. This is one of the reasons why we were extra careful to make sure that we hit that with the at, with the. Uh, That's what I'm looking for. The clear coat <clears throat> to make sure that um, the flakes didn't come up with our with our tape when we pulled our tape up. Thank you, Stimpy. Stimpy likes my my dryer. It does it does seem to be drying things quite a bit faster than we have in the past. Let me see here. Somewhere I have a can of blue paint also. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's shaving cream. Alright, let's see. Alright. Make sure that's down. Make sure that's down. So let's go back with a white. Somehow I get spray paint on my keyboard every time. And let's come across with some... Is this the blue? Yeah. Some blue. Man, I just want to... I just want to touch a green. Just down the side there like that. And then, let's peel that back. Carefully. Oh, see, carefully. Gently. So we can have that background exposed like that. Now you could do all these. You could do all of this with spray bottles with acrylic or acrylic inks in your spray bottles. You don't have to use 
spray paint like I use. You could also do it with a brush with opaque paints. You wouldn't be able to get the water drop effects with a brush though. But you know, you can see we've done it before with alcohol drops. So you could get you could get something like that. All right, let's let that sit under the heat for a minute while I put my paints away. While I put my spray paints away, because I think we're done with those. I need to sort these things so that I know what I have where instead of digging for it every flinking time. Oh, thanks, Stimpy. Stimpy was watching the other day when we did the the uh, BFG. That's my daughter's favorite. <clears throat> that's my daughter's favorite book, and uh, that's kind of how I got introduced to it. Stimpy was they're, they're in there talking about Miss Alley said that they have that that movie on Netflix. That's kind of how I got introduced to it uh, because my. Uh, Girl 2 was just ecstatic to find that movie on Netflix. And not the cartoon, the, the, the most recent adaptation where it's a, a human CGI interaction. She found that and just was ecstatic and made me watch it. And then she says, you got to read the book. And you know, really, the book is not two pages different than the movie. <laughs> it's easy to adapt children's books to movies because the children's books are only like 90, 90 to 100 pages long. But... All right, let's see how we're doing. Oh, wow. The heat lamp thing. The heat lamp thing really, really makes that go fast. I don't have to hit it. With, I don't feel like I have to hit it with flames to make it work. So, uh, I do want that to dry just a little bit. It's not... It doesn't dry as fast as if I had set it out in the sun or anything, but it dries pretty fast. The uh, now yesterday, um, where's my green paint? Where's my green paint? That won't do. That just won't do. I have to steal a kid's green paint. Let me show you this. You'll love this. Let me show you... What camera? This camera? Let me show you this. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. If you go to Amazon, you can go to you can you can go to your dashboard and you can set up dash buttons. Have you have you set up any dash buttons? You'll notice that I have paint in my dash buttons so that I can go through there to my dash buttons and I can say, "You know what? I'm out of green. Buy me some green." And that green will be here by Wednesday. <laughs> I just I just set my dash buttons up to buy art supplies. My wife's like, no, you didn't just hook us up to buy art supplies automatically. We have all kinds of household supplies we should be putting on there. I'm like, yeah, but look, art supplies, beep, and they, they just show up. And and so all of a sudden out of the blue, you know, you get new new bottles of paint. All right, I think that's dry enough to move on to the to the next phase here. Okay, hey, no, come here. Look, girl one. Have fun. I am Moana. <sighs> All right, let's see here. What are we doing? 
We were painting. That's what we were doing. We need a paint brush. Honestly, if you're going to paint, you need some way to put the paint down. I wonder if we should white it out first. Let's do that. That way we know if our paint is not... And I want it to dry quickly, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights back on. If our paint... You won't be able to... See, you may not be able to see what I'm doing. But if our paint is not opaque enough... Then... You want to make sure you have... Uh, white paint to block it in with because the white paint the opacity of the white paint it, white paint is opaque like a snake my mother probably hates tulips I have no idea but one day I painted tulips in my book and she liked it and I honestly, I don't even, I'm not even sure I know what tulips look like, other than they do this. But one day I painted tulips in my book, and my mother was like, oh, that's fabulous. And the next thing you know, I'm painting tulips for my mother for Mother's Day. And the next thing you know, she has this huge painting. Well, that's drying. Let's see if I can find it. I mean, this was like seven years ago. Six, seven years ago. Let's see. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Gallery, 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 gallery. Portfolio. Here we go. Yeah. So like this is what I painted for her. And probably what we're going to do, we're probably going to get pretty close to that today. She has that she has that hanging in her house like this. Anyway, that was her Mother's Day present. Uh six or seven years ago. She may not, like I said, she may not even like tulips. It may just be something where uh, she made the mistake of telling me that she liked it. and She liked that one painting and she's just been stuck with them ever since. But she's never really complained about having tulip paintings. So why stop now? The problem with using the kids paints though is that I don't know if I'm using acrylic or tempura. Just push your brush in and turn it in circles. And you can get perfect little round circles out of it. Let's turn that off. We don't need that on for this part. You can't see what I'm doing that way. Hey. I hear you. Is the show over? Nope. <laughs> Hello, my peeps. Hey. Say hi, Grandpa. Hi, yeah, I do. Hi, Unique yeah. with Chantel off your antenna. She loves it because her son made it for her. 
You know, that's probably it. She's pretty. She's pretty proud of me. She's been... You know, of all the moms Dad brought home over the years, I gotta say she's my favorite. <laughs> let's do this. Let's do this in a different size. Boosh. Tiny bubbles in my beer. What? Oh. Makes me happy. You know, uh, I haven't been doing the easels in a while. Paula, I need to get back to doing the easels. It got to where attendance was so low that uh, I wasn't getting any submissions. And so I thought that I would work towards building up an audience before I started doing easels again. But I'm going to continue to highlight them on my website. I just haven't done so. I'm a horrible friend. Absolutely horrible. But yeah, it, I mean, it really got to where the easel portion of the show was just me showing off my stuff. And that, I mean, it's my show. I don't, I don't have any need to show my stuff off. I want to highlight other people's stuff. So I, I haven't been checking. I haven't been, I haven't been keeping up with it. But if you want to be a part of what's on your easel, simply send your easel in to blade at artisticbiker.com. Uh... Is that right? What does that say? No. That's not the right one. I may not have the I may not have the uh I may not even have that that uh there. Nope, I don't have it anymore. Make it go away. <laughs> We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We'll, we'll bring it back. It just, it was, it, it got to where it was just me. And when it's just me, it's no fun to talk about what's on your easel. But people are slowly coming back. People are slowly coming back. Let me dry this a little bit. And then we'll come back and we'll hit that with some highlights. But it's my show, Nomadic Rose. I can show my art all the time. I don't have to have a special segment of it. You know, I can reach up here and I can grab... I can reach up here and I can grab my pencil drawings and, you know, my, my starfish. I mean, I can just reach up here and grab my stuff anytime I want to. I don't have to have a special segment to talk about my works. The point of what's on your easel was to show off what you guys are doing to inspire you guys to do stuff so that they can see what everybody else is doing because what I do may not necessarily be the most inspiring thing, you know? But I don't have to have a special segment for my stuff. I can show my stuff in, off anytime I want to. I can just, anytime I want to, just drop down and make a video of my stuff. But uh, I tell you what we can do we can 
stop and look at this real quick because what I was talking about the sunshine earlier let's see what we have to do to make this camera come over here like so and then let's see what we get out of that we built the we built the drying rack a couple of weeks ago I started putting it to good use I have I don't have any new paintings yet but I was I spent Sunday afternoon prepping, prepping canvases so we'll be painting this weekend I'll have by Saturday I'll have one to paint a foreground on one paint background on I'm going to have to turn these down. One to paint. One to paint highlights on. One to paint. Um, this camera. And one to paint. Uh, one to matte. One to paint highlights on. One to paint foreground on. One to paint a background on, and then the rest of them in different stages of prep. So that way, every Saturday, I've got 12 canvases that I'm working, and, and I can just keep them going. That is the goal of that. Look at that. I didn't have to use a hairdryer at all on that. Still wet in places, but it is dry enough for us to move on. I do want to see them. I don't want you to get the wrong impression. We just haven't been doing the What's on Your Easel segment simply because it was only me. It's not at all because I don't want to see what you guys are doing. It's entirely because I was trying to build up an audience before I got back into it. I love my brush pen. Have I ever told you guys how much I love my brush pen? When you get paint on your brush pen, you have to wipe it off. Where is, uh, I need a rag. Can you tell where are the towels? Gotta have a towel. Here's a towel. It's important. <laughs> it's important to get the paint off your brush pen as quickly as possible because if it dries on your brush pen, your brush pen will never be the same. Can't talk, Harding. I should probably do a series of tulips or flowers or something. My problem is, is once I've painted something, I get bored with it. I don't want to paint it again. I've done that. We're done with that. I've done that. Let's do something else. ready to do something else I've done that and and it happens uh, when I do my thumbnails when I do my thumbnail paintings and I'm like okay let's paint this small and see how I like it well then I've painted it right once I once I paint it small I've painted it there's no real reason to paint it again. And sometimes it takes me years 
to get back to it. Sometimes it takes me a long time. Sometimes it takes me years to get back to it. Mm. How are we doing on time? It's only 7.30. Let's see, I don't want to use the I don't want to use the good stuff for lettering. And this isn't really the good stuff, but it's it's not the apple barrel stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the apple barrel stuff for lettering. Mostly because there's a ton of it. There we go. Ooh. Now let's add some. Now let's add some color to that. Let's see. Let's pick. Let's pick red. I think. I think the red will stand out nicely against that um, green and white. come back and trace the letters with my brush pen and I think I'm gonna call it done go visit with my grandbaby which is a problem because uh, with my eldest daughter down here and with us down here my oldest son has moved off to Oklahoma City there's none of us left in my hometown to be with my mother for Mother's Day. So, it is a problem. How do you deal with your mother? Being out of town, being in a different town, if you live a long ways away. Because it's really hard to just drive eight hours my mother is worth driving eight hours for but it is really hard to just drive eight hours How do you guys deal with it? Just send her a card? Does your mother ever say things like, that's fine, a card is fine. You know, I only tell you how to eat with a spoon.
My mother's never said anything like that to me. I'm the one that says that kind of stuff to her. I understand. Don't answer the phone. I'm only your only baby boy. She doesn't say it to me. I say it to her. So, anyway. Skype. Nomadic Rose says uh, that it's just her and Patrick and they Skype. My Mother's Day is, is next Sunday. What day of the week is that? What I mean what what's the what's the actual date? Uh, the fourteenth. Is that right? Or is it the twenty first? I don't remember. Monday Mother's Day is either the 14th or the 21st. I'm not sure which. Send a ticket. I could do that. I could send her a, I could send her a ticket to come see me. She would love that. <laughs> but, uh, goodness. Well, guys, Mother's Day in the U.S. is the second Sunday in May. So, the first Sunday in May was the 7th. So, yeah, it's the 14th. And then Father's Day is in June. I've already been dropping hints to my, my kids that I want a, a new toolbox. <laughs> it's hard. It's, hor it's horrible for them. They can't buy for anything for me because, one, I have to give them the money to do it. Two, if I want something, I just go buy it myself. I'd rather they make me a card or paint me something. So, I want to do one last thing to this and I need it to dry just a little bit more so I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the hair dryer simply because that's uh, that'll, that'll make it go faster When I was prepping the canvases the other day, I did it outside so that they would dry fast. It's kind of what gave me the, the idea to refine this. Bright light heat and, and moving air. But you know, we were already talking about making a... We were already talking about making a drying box last weekend, last video. You don't want to dry too fast because if you have any thick pools of paint, they'll crack. But I think for our purposes, that'll work out great. I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat lamp off because we don't need that anymore. And now final touch for me is going to be do, do, do. I find that student grade acrylics which is what the, which is what the majority of this is painted in um, student grade acrylics is dull when it dries but pretty nice when it's wet. Well, I find that if you go back over it with a clear coat, you can't really tell that it's dull in a photograph because the photograph adds the, the light and design that it wants to it. But if you go back over it with a clear coat, I don't know if you can see how that made the colors pop back out already. And, and we could take the black paint and go around the edges and that would make everything seem brighter but uh, I don't I don't know that I don't know that this needs it I think that once you once you add the clear coat if you if you can see it I added a satin coat to it this is kind of this is kind of lost in here isn't it I don't know what we could do to make that not be lost I don't know I'll have to figure that out. But that is, that's just lost in there. 
Maybe I should have cut out letters and put them on there. Left it white. I don't know. But that's kind of lost across there. It's kind of busy. But maybe I should have moved it over. When you play with it, play with it. Figure out how to move it around. Move, move it around so that you can see. So that you can see where it ends up. But the clear coat on top of the on top of the student grade acrylics uh, brings the brings the sheen back out. Makes the makes the paint seem brighter again. So if you're using student grade acry acrylics, you can use uh, you can use satin uh, Mod Podge. If you don't want to use if you don't want to use spray paint, you can use satin Mod Podge. You can use uh, uh, you can use gloss Mod Podge, but Remember when you use shine when you do shiny stuff, the the shiny stuff likes to stick together. Nothing likes to stick to shiny stuff except other shiny stuff. So if you use gloss or satin or anything like that, be sure and go over. I always go over every page after I let it dry. This will dry overnight, and then when it's over, uh, I'll hit it with some liquid liquid car wax, and the the I'll, I can spray the liquid car wax on there and wipe it off. I've been doing that for seven years, and I've not lost any pages yet. Uh, I lost one book to uh, I lost one book to heat, and the really the only reason I lost it is because it went into some extreme heat, and uh, I, I forgot where it was. And then when I found it, it was it was already it was already too far gone. But for the most part, just just dealing with you know typical 80, 80 degree weather stuff like that. This is this has done well for me, so I just I just stick with that. And as long as I'm working in the book, I don't, I don't really care. Oh yeah, I have to put your mask on. Sorry, you're not supposed to see that. You're supposed to put your mask on. You do spray paint. Be sure and wear your mask. But I will point out that uh, let's see. Can you see? You can't even see. That that garage door is open. The fans are running. Uh, I have lots of ventilation going on going on here right now. So I mean, it's not perfect. I probably still should have wore a mask. I did cover my face when I did the gold paint. But uh, the worst part is getting spray paint on your paintbrushes. Be sure and cover your paintbrushes up when you do spray paint because otherwise it, the mist will settle on them and then you find that your paintbrushes don't don't work properly anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so guys, thank you so much for joining me. You know this is my favorite night of the week I, when I get to art with my besties. Uh, tomorrow night is figure drawing for me, so I'm going to go back out to figure drawing. Uh, I can't show you figure drawing on Ustream because Ustream uh, instantly bans nudity, but I, I am going back to figure drawing, and that make that kind of that kind of gives me an incentive to do some other stuff. I am doing the uh, watercolor Wednesdays again. I know we said we weren't going to do what's on your easel, and I'm not going to do what's on your easel, but I am doing the watercolor Wednesdays again, where I'm picking a face off Facebook and, and just and and spending about 10 minutes watercoloring. The daily drawings and uh, kind of got kind of got out of hand. It got to where they were taking. It was supposed to be a supposed to be a 10 minute process, and it, then it turned into a 20 minute process, then it turned into an hour long process. That kind of got out of hand, and it's it's it, hi, hi Kimberly, right there at the end good save it's it's uh it's a little hard to it, it kind of got burned out on the hour-long process because what would happen was is i would get the drawing and i would get the shat and, and i would get the shading and then i would go back in and i'd get a draw shadow and then i'd go back in and i'd i'd erase all the side marks and then i'd have to edit the video and all that other stuff and uh it got to where i couldn't do it because i would wake up and like, well i have to go to work i don't have an hour to dedicate to that to go to work well, then I come home and I've got to do two. Well, I don't have the energy to do two. And I just, it got out of hand. So the daily drawings are going to drop back to just 10 minutes. I'm going to set a timer 10 minutes. And then if I have time and I'm into it, I'll go ahead and put the rest of the effort into it. But otherwise, it's just going to be 10 minutes. Uh, Nomadic Rose and, and, and Patrick, I am terribly sorry that I didn't do what's on your easel this week after you guys send something in. I will pick that back up next week. So if you want to be a part of what's on your easel send a, send an email with a picture to of your work and a link to your website if you want to to blade at artisticbiker.com with easel in the subject line and we'll use your work to inspire other people but uh, this week I didn't do it I didn't do it last week honestly it was it was mostly because the 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 uh, attendance and participation was so low 
that it was just me showing off my work, so I, I kind of backed off of it. But if people want to start doing it again, if people want to start sending me works in again, I'm proud. I'm proud to show your works because it inspires other people to do stuff. Uh, that said, again, thank you for joining me tonight. You know it's my favorite night of the week when I get to art with my besties. Be sure and tune in next week. Same artistic biker time, same artistic biker channel, and then we dance. And we dance until somebody says that they see me dancing so that I can know that everything has been uh, seen and we don't have to worry about what, there's, there's where it says that, what, we don't have to worry about people not knowing that they saw something. You can post to my Facebook. Yes, you absolutely can post to my Facebook, Matic Rose. You, you absolutely can post to my Facebook. And then, let's see, do I have, I have the thank you for watching. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the Artistic Biker now. Click the buttons.